Vat Hap Chu Phuong is rapidly turning into the worst of the Vietnam War. The biggest armies, the gravest losses. Today, a fresh battalion of North Vietnamese troops hit the first cavalry front at a new point, and the fighting is reported heavy. The communists have not retreated despite the loss of as many as 1,500 men killed in three days, and despite the terrible pounding of the B-52s right behind their lines. They have, so prisoners tell us, a reinforcement pipeline through Cambodia, only seven miles away, and they are using, amongst other things, elephants for pack animals. Today at Hip Duck, far to the north of Viet Cong, massacre the occupants of a government district headquarters. They left the bodies impaled on stakes. American wounded in the Tufong battle are being airlifted to the base hospital at Play Coup, and ABC's Ray Maloney reports. This is the harsh reality of battle here in Vietnam. The reality behind the headlines, behind the pictures, behind the stories that you read. These are the wounded of the U.S. 1st Cavalry Division, which has been fighting hard, very hard, for something over two weeks now. First, at the end of the siege of Play May, the Special Forces Camp, they sprang out from there and they went all the way to the Cambodian border to chase and harry the Viet Cong. They thought they had the area cleared, they went back in, and all of a sudden there's a new unit there. It's a new one that seems to have come through from Cambodia, and they have chewed it up. But in the chewing, they have suffered. This is the North Vietnamese you see now on the stretcher here. He's receiving exactly the care that American wounded are receiving. Ray Maloney, ABC News, Waiku. The weekly report of American dead listed 86, the highest figure so far. The next one, however, may be a lot higher, for it will include Chupong. In Vietnam, the big battle between American and North Vietnamese forces in Yad Rang Valley went through its fourth day today. U.S. 1st Cavalry troops switched to new positions in an effort to seize the initiative from the communists. But the North Vietnamese managed to hold on to the high ground despite another pounding from B-52 bombers. And tonight, the Reds launch new attacks against the 1st Cavalry units. No word on casualties. The reinforced communists apparently have gotten new supplies of weapons and food, but were carried in, in some cases, by elephants. One elephant, laden with rice, was killed in the fighting. Back in Saigon, officials reported that 86 Americans were killed and 230 wounded in action last week. That's the highest toll for any week of the war. In other action today, four American planes were shot down over North Vietnam. Two pilots were rescued, two were lost. And Viet Cong guerrillas virtually wiped out a 150-man government garrison at a district headquarters 25 miles south of Da Nang. They left several of the defenders impaled on stakes. The Battle of Phupong Mountain has broken out again and has gone through its fourth consecutive day. This time, the battlefield shifted three miles to the north where the American 1st Cavalry Unit are certain that a fresh North Vietnamese regiment has been thrown into the fight. The enemy is being supplied by elephants, one of which was killed in today's action. 